The first thing I like to do is lay out my tools and materials. You will need a soldering iron, a vise, I like to use two, a jacket stripper, a wire stripper, and a good pair of wire cutters. I also like to have a sharp blade and a pair of needle nose pliers just in case I need them. The materials I'm going to be using today are a Mogami microphone cable and Neutrik XLR male and female connectors. Before stripping back the outside jacket, attach the bushing to both sides. Most people refer to this as a boot. I like to add the chuck at the same time. Strip about half an inch of the outside jacket. I like to use a jacket stripping tool because it's more precise and definitely safer than a knife. Now I want to take and strip back the shielding and expose any wire and then cut out any of the filler. Strip back the inner wires approximately eighth of an inch with your wire stripping tool. Now, we can take the shield and twist it together. All three pins on the male and female side are numbered. The male side is numbered one, three, and two. The female side is numbered two, three, and one. Make sure that you solder the same wire to the same number on each side. We are now ready to solder the male side. I have my cable secured with one vise and my connector secured with the other vise. I have preset the ground in pin number one, the white wire in pin number three, and the blue in pin number two. Take your soldering tip and hold it on the pin for a few seconds and then add some solder. We are going to repeat this for the next two pins on the male insert. I have prepped and tin the female side of the cable the exact same way I prepared the male side. Once again, I've secured the cable in one vise and the connector in the other. I've placed the wires in the same pin numbers as I did on the male side. We are now ready to solder. Take your soldering iron and place it on one of the pins for approximately two seconds and add some solder. We are going to repeat this step on the next two pins. Now that I have the female and male side soldered, the easiest way to check my work is by connecting the two and checking to see that my wires match. I can see here that blue matches blue, white matches white, and shield matches shield. So I've soldered both the male and the female side correctly. The last step is to add the middle housing to the outside of the connector. What I need to do 
is slide the chuck up to the insert like a puzzle piece and then slide the boot behind. Now we'll take the metal housing, slide that on and twist the boot into place. Hand tight is more than enough. I'm going to repeat this step on the male side sliding the chuck up into place. I'm sliding my bushing, or what we call a boot, into place. Bring the metal housing down till we get it twisted into place. And I'm just gonna twist the boot finger tight. And there you have a completed XLR.